Hi guys, and welcome to this training session on the Wiser electrical heat switch, where I'm going to take you through how adding these devices to your Wiser system will give you the capability to control electrical heating loads up to 16 amps resisted. This device is a really useful addition to the Wiser lineup as it allows you to control electrical heating loads of up to 16 amps resistive on the Wiser platform. By the end of this session, you'll see just how versatile it really is, everything from controlling tower rails right the way through to electrical underfloor heating. Just to recap, this is how Wiser works. The Wiser Hub R broadcasts a separate devices network which allows the Wiser devices such as the Wiser radiator and room thermostats to connect. If you need to extend that network, you've got the Wiser plugs which double as range extenders for the hub. The electrical heat switch also joins the Wiser devices network, and because it's a mains powered device, it also forms an access point that other devices on the network can route through, meaning the more of these that you add to a system, the more robust the network becomes, and the less likely the system will need to be strengthened with Wiser plugs. So let's take a closer look at the hardware and some of its features. This single button on the front of the control is used to manually toggle the relay on or off. It is also used for when setting up the device to get it into join mode. By separating the device, you have access to the terminal rail. I'll now take you through what each of the terminals does in turn. Starting on the left, this is our live out, and this will be the live feed to the load that is being controlled. Here is the live in, which will be coming from the supply, most likely a fuse spur. Next is a pilot wire connection, which is a feature on some electrical heaters found outside of the UK. It isn't supported by Wiser, so you'll never connect anything to this terminal. There are two earth terminals which are linked together to maintain earth continuity on class 1 devices. A similar principle for the two neutrals, they're unswitched so connected to the two terminals that are internally linked. This makes the Wiser electrical heat switch a single pole, single throw switch. Finally, you have the two terminals for the connection of a floor sensor. If you're going to be using this with electric underfloor heating, it's mandatory that a floor sensor is connected to prevent injury. Moving away from the terminal rail, the cable clamps here secure the incoming and outgoing cables. The hub R is the centre of the system, and here are three electrical heat switches. Each of these need to have a wiser room thermostat assigned. These can form part of a mix system that uses the wiser radiator thermostats for wet central heating. It is important that you stay within the device capability of wiser, a maximum of 16 zones, 32 wiser radiator thermostats and 16 wiser room thermostats. These room thermostats can be assigned to a standard central heating zone, the wiser underfloor heating controller for multi-loop wet underfloor heating or the wiser electrical heat switch. Now let's have a look at a typical application. In this case, a heated tower rail fed from a fused spur. To control this with Wiser, you interrupt the supply with the electrical heat switch, so you can view it as an inline switch. Take the feed from the fuse spur, then take the output to the tower rail, bringing control onto the Wiser system. It's important to remember that these are not standalone controls, there does need to be a Wiser Hub R fitted as part of the system. The maximum permitted load per Wiser electrical heat switch is 16 amps resistive. These are not suitable for use with inductive loads. For electric or dry underfloor heating, the method of connecting the load is exactly the same through the electrical heat switch, but you now need to use our room floor sensor buried within the floor to ensure that if a fault develops, the floor can overheat. Now I'll take you through a demo of how to install the Wiser electrical heat switch. Loosen the two screws on the front, which will allow the unit to separate. Once in half, you can flip over and get access to the terminal rail. The back casing can now be screwed to the wall to make it secure and the front face can be wired. To maintain the IP rating of the product, there are two grommets that the cables will pass through which fit into recesses in both the top and bottom casings. Both cable entries have clamping arrangements for different size cables. By having two positions, the clamp can be fitted in the appropriate location to suit the size of cable you're using. 
This is secured by a single fixing screw. The other cable entry is just a repeat of the same, and you can now progress on to wiring the terminal rail. First I'll focus on the wires that connect together. The two earth wires here go into the earth terminals, and it doesn't matter which way around these go. Next up, the two neutrals, and again, the terminals are linked, so it doesn't matter which way around they go. Next to the two live wires, it is important that the load and supply are wired the correct way around. Once everything is secured, the two halves of the control can be put back together and secured using the two screws. Supplied with the unit are two decorative caps to hide the screw heads, and these just push on. As I said earlier, if you're using this to control electric underfloor heating, it's mandatory that you connect one of these. This is our room floor sensor. The end that's got the white bulb gets buried in the floor and typically goes between the elements on the underfloor heating mat. The other end wires into the two terminals on the electrical heat switch itself. Once powered up, the electrical heat switch is now ready to be added to your WISER system, but to check correct operation, you can use the button on the front of the control to toggle the relay on and off to ensure that the load is responding as you would expect. Launch the WISER Home app and click Get Started. Follow the professional installer route to connect your phone to the WISER Hub R. Once connected, skip the Wi-Fi setup to get to the Adding Devices page. Mains powered devices always need to be added first, so start by selecting the electrical heat switch option. You are prompted to make sure that the device is wired and powered before proceeding. Clicking next will cause the hub to go into join mode. Press and hold the button on the electrical heat switch itself until it starts flashing between green and amber. After a few seconds, the app will confirm that the device has been successfully joined. You now need to choose the control type, this will always be Relay. Confirm the selection by pressing the Next button. You'll now need to assign this device to a zone. This can be any one of the 16 zones that you've got available on the WISER system. In this case, it's going into the attic. The app confirms that the zone has been successfully created, but before you can start controlling the zone, you need to assign a WISER room thermostat. So back to the landing page, and this time you pick the room thermostat option. Insert the batteries into the WISER room thermostat and wait for the device to join the network. Once the device joins, it needs to be assigned to the same zone as the electrical heat switch, in this case, the attic. From the devices page, you can now see that there are two devices associated with attic, a WISER room thermostat and the electrical heat switch. If the heating type in the attic was electric underfloor heating, the room floor sensor would have been wired in, and this is where you tell the system what type of floor sensor is connected. The only one that's approved for use with the Wiser electrical heat switch is the 33 kilo ohm Drayton sensor. Returning to the home screen, we now have a zone called attic, and it is controlled in exactly the same way as any other zone on the system. The newly created zone will feature as part of the insights page as well as heat report so your customers can monitor how their electrical heating loads are being controlled with the WISER system. Thanks for watching this training video and if you need any more information or resources head over to our website wiser.dratencontrols.co.uk